Hey guys, it's Mark. Um, it has been a while since I have posted um, anything. And I know I keep saying I'm going to work on it, but I truly do mean it here. Um, January, February is really a busy time for us at work, so I've been working all kinds of overtime, trying to get some bills paid, um, and just helping to fill the workforce for a very um, demanding time of year at work. Um, but now, in mid to late February, things should start slowing down for us. Um, schedules for me should regulate a little bit more, be a little more predictable. Um, so hopefully I will have a chance to be on here a little bit more frequently, a little more often, um, and logging some new things that I've been learning about my craft, um, things that I've decided to put my own take on, um, because I have been learning a few things, um, want to learn a few more things and become more avid in my practice. Um, simply because admittedly I haven't been too active in it as of late, I haven't um, spent too much on it. I haven't put too much into it. Um, but that is something I want to work on because of course being a witch and a practitioner, the only way to do it and be good at it or get any kind of benefit out of it, of course, is to practice and to spend time and devote to it. So that's one of my goals for this year or that new year's resolution is to learn and develop my craft a little bit more and commit more to it um but anyway <laughs> yes i spent like a minute and a half rambling sorry um i wanted to just come on here and make a quick video um because recently nina soul and um little red witch of spiritual vibes and the soul sisters um i've connected with them over social media and developed kind of an acquaintance ship I guess you could call it with both of them um, and have been reaching out and engaging with them um, especially during Red Witch's um, daily tarot readings which are very intuitive I think some of them have really been intuitive for me um, I've been looking at their website um, Facebook postings that both they and other customers have put on and have really wanted to just look at their shop and see what it has to offer um, and so what I did this past week is I got in touch with Nina and ordered, oh, I don't know how well you can see it, um, this pentacle right here. Um, she handcrafted it um, from wire and a crystal of some sort. I think I have here in the label um, the type that it was. Yes, it was a 3A grade La Bodorite crystal or stone. It's appearing backwards here. I don't know how well you can see it. <laughs> um, but yes, it was very simple. I'm thinking because she makes this in kind of a smaller version and then a bigger one. Um, the small version here, it's just exquisite. You know, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm thinking of going back for the bigger one. Um, when funds permit, um, because I just love um, triquetras, pentacles, and I've got a couple of other pentacle necklaces and a triquetra necklace, but I just want to add more of these um, because, again, it's just another symbol I'm very in tune with, and sometimes um, with these pendants or these necklaces, I won't use them as that per se, but I'll put them on a rope similar to this or a small chain and I'll use them as a pendulum um, for divination purposes. Um, so I want to build up a little collection of these as well as of course regular pendulums and maybe quartz crystal points, um, the little necklace ones like this. I've got a couple of those as well um, that I really want to work with. Um, but this just came to me in the mail today and I'm very excited um, and she sent it with um, the spiritual vibes um, business card which I'm just trying to find here on my cluttered desk and 
and I'm thinking if I can snag a ticket for it of going to the Witch's Ball in October. Um, so if I can plan that in such a way and get that ticket, maybe stop by in person and say hi because again, the shop looks amazing. It looks like there's a lot to offer. Um, and again, I don't know how well you can see this given that the text is showing up backwards. Um, but it's based in Chicago. So anyone who hasn't been there before that is in the Chicago area, stop on by, pay a visit. I mean, it's it's really got a lot of interesting things to offer and both Nina and Red Witch are just, they're very sweet, very nice, and just awesome people. Um, and another thing I liked that she put a personal touch on is it, it looks like here's a, um, a small thread of twine or yarn of some kind and then this little felt organza bag or, or cloth if you will. Um, this is what the pendant came wrapped in when I opened the package and it came bundled with sage leaves or at least it's what it makes me think of it smells like sage leaves um to me mm. <laughs> i just i love the smell it's it's a very beautiful smell and and then this here it looks like it's a bay leaf um safe travels has been written onto the leaf so obviously very committed to securing and protecting the things that they send you when, when they're shipped, um, which again is just another very nice personal touch. Um, and then I've got up here on the wall next to me, let's see if I can show it to you without having to move you too much. Here is my matron god and goddess, or symbols for them. And then the Eye of Horus, which is of course a symbol of protection, um, that sit above my bed. Yes, because my main working space here also, for the time being, has to double as my bedroom. Uh, but that's what you do, you compromise. Um, <laughs> and so what I am thinking of doing just as a way to bless um, my pentacle, because Nina did say this is a good form of protection, I believe, and well, if not, I will charge it and use it as that. I mean, because everyone needs protecting in a crazy world like today. Um, so, what I'm thinking of doing for tonight, after having blessed and consecrated it myself, is hanging it up here around the neck of Isis, my matron goddess. Would it be matron? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you get the idea. She's she's my goddess, the person I work with. Um, when doing certain callings or working with deities, she's the main goddess. Um, so this will hang on her statue tonight um, and oh, be charged and consecrated by her and myself and I will wear it for the first time tomorrow. I'm very excited. Um, it'll, be, it'll be great, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm very, very excited to wear it. I'm very happy with it. I, like I said, I will be buying from them again, maybe go for the bigger one next time. Um, because she did differentiate the sizes to me. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just calculations off in my mind, but I thought it was slightly bigger. Um, but I just decided maybe next time when funds permit, I'll buy her bigger one or see, you know, how big she can go for me because I mean, hey, go big or go home, right? Um, and then she made these with a set of blue stones. Um, and an example or a sampling that she showed me, it was like blue stones laid out in this pattern or in this way around the silver wire wrapped pentacle in the center and that was just absolutely beautiful so I think I might go with that one next and again like I said just have this be the start of a serious collection um, because I mean like I said both Nina and Red Witch have been very kind very sweet to me and this whole experience with them and purchasing from their shop um, has been 
it, it's been amazing and I've had fun with it and I hope they've had fun interacting with me and I look forward to um, connecting and interacting more. Um, I will also be saving the organza bag and the sage leaves um, and maybe using them as part of my consecration piece for this as well. Um, since, you know, it is a manner of protection that was given to them when they sent it. And it was um, meant to be an offering of protection and help guarantee safe travel to me. Um, so I figured maybe all the more fitting to have it consecrated with, with that energy. Um, but yes, that is just... I guess if you will, a little haul video, I wanted to do a little check-in, um, and it will be very fun interacting with all of you guys again, and hopefully being able to spend a little bit more time um, connecting with the online witchy community. Um, so thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by, and as always, bless you guys.